Day 29 now of the UAW strike against the domestic three automakers, and the game is changing as time goes on. Within the hour, we've learned Ford announced temporary layoffs at one of its plants here in Michigan that manufactures the Ford F-150 Lightning. The automaker says the cuts, though, are not strike-related. So good to have you with us here at 6. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Karen Drew. In for Kimberly Gill tonight. Meantime, today, UAW President Sean Fain held his now weekly address to his membership the day after striking the Ford Kentucky truck plant to say he is not escalating the strike. Yep. He claimed Ford was trying to game his system by waiting for another Friday to pass to see what would happen. Well, tonight, uh, auto suppliers now expressing their deep concern over the impasse. Business Center Rob Maloney live in Detroit at Solidarity House with more on both of those angles. Rob. Yeah, Devin, you know, uh, as we speak, suppliers are meeting down in North Carolina talking all about the strike. They say that thousands of jobs, millions of dollars are at stake in their universe, particularly the second and third tier suppliers. They're at stake. In fact, some might even go fins up if the strike goes on much longer. We all know the supply chain took a beating during COVID and at least a third of the smaller suppliers now are estimated to be pushing up against unmanageable debt loads. And now they're looking at layoffs as this strike heads for its first full month. Julie Freem is the president of MEMA, the original equipment suppliers trade association. Just under 40% of the suppliers uh, that we surveyed indicated they have it laid off at least some people in response to this uh, strike. Uh, and upwards of 70% expect that by the uh, end of October, they will be laying off employees. And as much as anything, don't you dare slow walk us or lowball us. The harsh tone UAW President Sean Fain uses is troubling to suppliers considering many of their workers don't get strike pay or the kind of paychecks his membership enjoys even before the next contract hits. We need calmer heads to prevail. This is beginning to have substantial economic impact, not just on, of course, the vehicle companies and I'll say the UAW workers, but also on the suppliers themselves. And what's more, she says, a long strike could easily mean the end for many suppliers. And you put this kind of a burden on top of uh, that sensitive community, you're going to see some businesses not be able to keep their doors open. And this afternoon, Detroit Regional Chamber President and CEO Sandy Barua put out a statement expressing his concern about the supplier situation, saying, quote, the surprise shutdown of Ford's largest factory this week has dealt another blow to the state's economy and the hundreds of Michigan-based suppliers connected to that facility. To date, approximately 34,000 workers are on strike against the Detroit Three across 44 plants and distribution centers. The longer these shutdowns continue and we go without a resolution, the more rapid and irreparable that the economic damage to Michigan becomes. And so he is deeply concerned about that in many areas, but especially for the suppliers. Back to you. Uh, Rod, I know better than to ask you to predict Sean Fain's next move, but what is your guess here for of him, uh, what he's got ahead here for the weekend and what's next? Well, what he's saying is he's going uh, to Pennsylvania over the weekend to strike with Mack Truck uh, strikers, they had a ten, they had a tentative agreement with the UAW, and then the uh, the rank and file voted it down. And to which he said he applauded in his speech today. He talked about the fact that it's the members who make these choices, not the president or even the CEOs. And so he's going there. Uh, whether he calls another strike expansion, well, I don't know. Our yeah. heads are going to be on a swivel, watching and listening. <laughs> so right. All right, Rod.